So now we move to the next section in the lab model, which is section 6.3, input and output redirection. So um, in Linux, um, any commands works by taking input from users and displaying output to the terminal. So um, uh, suppose that you want to uh, run um, a command, a grab command, uh, which function is to search strings um, on a file and return and display the lines that contains the search string um, to the current terminal screen. But sometimes um, you do not want to display the, the results on the terminal. You want the output to be saved in a file. So this could be done easily um, with output redirection uh, because um, in Linux we have some special commands or characters to redirect this input or output functionalities. So redirection here uh, means uh, you are diverting the output or input in or to um, a file, into or to a file. So now um, in Linux, there are three data streams connected to it and there are standard input, um, standard output, and also standard error. And this is the redirection symbols or operators that you could find on your keyboard um, to um, carry out the functions of the redirection. So if you were to do the uh, um, standard input, so you need to use the less than um, operators on your keyboard um, for um, standard output redirection. So you use the greater um, symbols so for single greater symbols, um, it is used to redirect output and override the content, but you can use double symbols to append the content. And um, two and greater symbols is used to redirect error and override the content. All right. So let us um, look at different usage of um, redirection, um, input output redirection. So first of all, I would like to show how to do the output um, redirection. So to do this, you um, should go to section 6.3.2 in the lab module and we'll go to example number one. So in the example number one, what it does is it redirects output of cat to list.txt file using the um, standard output um, um, operators. All right. So um, I have uh, shown earlier how cat is used to display um, content of the file on the terminal screen. Uh, many people um, have a misconception um, um, if you combine cat with the with the uh, put redirection operators. Um, they have this um, confusion that the cat is used to create a file, but actually it's not. Um, what happened here is um, if you have uh, if you combine the cat and also the um, the redirection out, um, output redirection operators, so you are required actually to uh, put some input on the screen. Okay, so there's a name list here, and press Control D. Okay, to stop inputting. Um, so what happened here is the main work of the cat is to copy the input and give the output. Um, to the um, list.txt file, right? So, if I were to view back the content of list.txt file, so you can see that um, now it give the um, the con it output the content of list.txt into the into the screen, right? So this is one example of um, output redirection. So now, what, are the, what is the difference between a single um, output redirection operator and the double um, greater than symbols? All right, so I will show you the differences here. So I need to clear the screen. Now, I use a single operator, output redirection operator. Okay, STD operator here uh, and list.txt. So now I input a different name list, which is John, Jonathan, and Elise. Okay, and I'll display back 
content of list txt so you can see that um, it overrides the previous content of list txt now um, if i were to use Jabba's std out operator here so i put zaki um, Salim, Azman, and Aida onto the name list. So I cut back list.txt. So you can see that it will append um, the content to new lines in file list.txt. All right. So now uh, moving on. So I clear the screen. So the next thing um, I would like to do is to show you the input redirection. Okay, so for the input redirection, you can uh, refer to example 1 in section 6.3.3. So as I said previously, cat is used to copy the input and give the output of the screen. If you do not specify any file, if I press cat, and I type this is std in from keyboard. So what happened here is, so um, it will copy the input and give back the output to the screen. I mean the input is the um, this is std in from keyboard and re output back to the terminal screen. Okay, so um, now. Let's see how to use std in from a file using sort, right? So sort is the command to sort a content of files. So now I would like to use sort to sort the name list in list.txt. So by using the command here, um, I scroll up. So by using the command sort and use a std in operator, so what happened here is it will read back the content of list.txt and sort it and display it to the screen. Right? So you can see the output now is the name list in ascending order. Now, next we will see the effect of error redirection. Okay, um, instead of um, showing or displaying error on the terminal, sometimes like system administrator, they would like to redirect the um, any error messages. Um, to a file so that, that so that they can refer it back um, later on. So if you refer to example one, in example one, okay, if I were to um, display content of test file, but test file does is not does not exist here. Okay, there's no test file here. Okay, so of course, when the file does not um, it, um, does not exist, so it will display error message. So, like for example, if I put more test, oh sorry, more test, so the file is not um, it's not created in the direct in current working directory. That's why there's an error message. But we would like to redirect this error into a file so what we can do is so this is the command that surely have error on it so more test and you want to redirect the error so make sure you use two and the greater signs the greater operators and then specify what are the new files uh, the error files so er dot out so maybe you want to use a lock dot out or lock dot txt 
it's up to you and then enter so if we look at the content of the log so we can see that the error has been redirected to the um, error.out file right um, if you look more into um, other examples you can see that um, you can play around um, by using um, double uh, uh, stdr operators um, to append right and um, in the next example here um, you can combine um, the redirect uh, out input and output redirection um, or the error redirection um, in a file all right now let's talk about another type of redirection um, which is pipes so a pipe is used in linux to send output of one command to another command for further processing so basically um, in linux pipe is usually used to combine two or more command and if we look at pipes it is unidirectional which um, that means data flows from left to right so if we look at example uh, or syntax here so output from command one will be passed to command two and the result of command two will be passed again to command three to produce the final output so let me demonstrate how we can use pipe um, in linux so i will straight it goes to i will go straight to example number three where what I want to do is to sort marks and print only the, the non-overlapping lines. So I have prepared a file which uh, name is marks.txt. So let me display the content of the file which contains the mark um, of several students. But in this um, in this file, there is an overlapping um, entries so what i want to do is to sort the marks and only displace the non-duplicate entries right so i will use the command sort marks.txt to sort the to sort the lines the entries of student and only display the non-overlapping entries so now you can see that it only shows the non-overlapping entries for student marks. So now we can also um, combine or take the red redirection a step further by redirecting the um, the piping results and redirection together. So in this example, um, the example is not in the in the um, in the lab module, but because I just want to reuse the um, example for um, displaying the non-overlapping uh, marks onto a file so basically um, i will just use the same command which is sort marks.txt so and part it with unique and redirect the output to a new file named pipemarks.txt alright so now let us see the final result so now the non-overlapping student marks will be redirect um, to the file of pipemarks.txt